you can call us the Super Seven. Oh, oh please don't call us that. The, the Super Seven? What, you don't like it? Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 animated Justice League movies of all time. She's coming with us. She stays here. Welcome to the Legion of Doom. I am still your most competent acolyte, Lord Darkseid. For this list, we'll be looking at those Justice League movies that show why DC's animated projects are so highly regarded. Which Justice League comic story should be adapted into an animated film? Let us know in the comments. Now, on to the countdown. Number 10, Justice League Throne of Atlantis. We're standing in the middle of Atlantis! I am totally geeking out. Man, we have a weird job. The fourth film in the DC animated movie universe, Throne of Atlantis introduces a new 52-inspired Aquaman. Yo, leave him alone. We're talking. In this origin story, a young Arthur gets fast-tracked to become Atlantis' king and must face off against Ocean Master in Metropolis. With a little help, of course. The queen needs a beacon, Arthur. Maybe it's you. While the villain isn't particularly memorable, and the story could have used a longer running time, it delivers plenty of engaging action scenes. Feel my power, surface brother. The Justice League are sidelined for most of the film, but Throne of Atlantis does excel at showing the group's initial lack of solidarity and how their dynamic took shape. We need to consider solidifying this team. Like weekly meetings? Yay, we're a book club now. Number nine. Justice League vs. Teen Titans. She's coming with us. She stays here. Despite having first billing in the title, the Justice League plays second fiddle to the Titans in this 2016 film. And that is not inherently a terrible thing. What's your location? Where I need to be. In the driver's seat. Batman sends Damien to Titan's Tower in hopes that the newest Robin will learn some teamwork. But things get complicated when Raven's father Trigon starts to possess League members. More than anything, this is Robin and Raven's story. The two characters form an unlikely but compelling bond throughout the film. You may be insufferable, but in your heart, you are a kind and generous soul. The encounters between the possessed Justice League and the Titans are short but entertaining, while the finale is suitably epic. The Legion of Doom and Ra's al Ghul also show up for a few fun scenes. Have you forgotten your heritage? You are an Al Ghul! No. I'm a Titan! Number 8. Justice League – The New Frontier This all lines up with dozens of stories we've run in the planet this year. The children's book is particularly ominous. As if someone, something else, were speaking through the author. An adaptation of Darwin Cook's fantastic limited run, The New Frontier drops DC's iconic heroes in the 50s and 60s during the Cold War. Ever since McCarthy came to- McCarthy? He's no excuse. The change in era allows for a more grounded tone and threat than some of the Justice League's other stories, even if the main villain is a sentient island. It has large ports which discharge intense blasts of energy, but which can also draw things into the creature. Tasked with serving as an origin story for this version of the Justice League, the new frontier does spread itself a bit too thin as it tries to do right by its massive roster. Have you finished your homework yet? Uh, right. That being said, out of all the characters, the film handles Martian Manhunters and Green Lantern's hero journeys particularly well. You do not have the will. No? Watch. Number 7. Justice League – Gods and Monsters But what about our terrorist organization? What about the Justice League? Elseworlds tales provide an opportunity to get away from the main continuity and tell self-contained narratives. Gods and Monsters envisions a universe with very different versions of Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Knock, knock. Featuring a far more brutal Justice League with backstories that are all fantastic, Gods and Monsters is mature and captivating. While not quite as dark or epic as some of the comic's Elseworld stories, this 2015 movie delivers complex characters, a well-paced storyline, and a healthy dose of high-quality action. Go ahead. <sighs> Bet you taste like crap. If Gods and Monsters is any indication, DC shouldn't shy away from exploring the Elseworlds. You know what they say. The past is like another planet. Number 6. Justice League Dark. How you doing, Johnny boy? 
Zatanna, and Batman. The Justice League can handle most threats, but Superman and friends are not especially great at that whole magic thing. Perhaps a paranormal element. Are you talking about magic? We've come up against magic before, Batman. When deaths with a supernatural edge begin to occur, Batman turns to John Constantine and Zatanna for assistance, leading to the assembly of the Justice League Dark. Odd trio for a road trip. So what do I owe the visit? The League thinks that a recent spike in homicides may have a magical cause. Released in 2017, Dark makes solid use of its eclectic cast of sorcerers, dead men, and swamp things to deliver a satisfying adventure that pushes the DCAMU into stranger territory. And Swamp Thing has left the building. Guess we do it the hard way. Constantine is the star of the show, but Dark allows most of its characters a moment or two to shine. Number 5. Justice League War Splintering off from 2013's The Flashpoint Paradox, War had the challenging task of introducing the younger New 52 versions of DC's heroes. Hey there, what's up? Shazam. I'm with him. He's not with me. The film also tried to establish Darkseid while serving as an origin story for the Justice League. You bruise, but you don't kill, do you? Clark. With a lot to do and not much time to do it in, War focuses primarily on action but arguably shines the brightest during its more character-driven moments. This is what it took you to finally care about me? You had to make me just another one of your experiments. Cyborg's fateful encounter with the Mother Box is a highlight. While Green Lantern and Batman's interaction brings a touch of levity to the film. What? Nobody asked you to prom, so now you dress as a bat and prowl around your parents' basement? What's this do? Huh? War shows why these characters are worth following individually, while also hammering home the appeal of the Justice League. You can call us the Super Seven. Oh, oh please don't call us that. Hell the hell. Super Seven? What, you don't like it? Number four, Justice League, Crisis on Two Earths. There's a saying on my world. The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. For better or worse, crisis events tend to generate plenty of talking points. Somewhere in the multiverse, there is a world I call Earth Prime. Every Earth is a variation of this one. Originally conceived as part of the DCAU, Crisis on Two Earths manages to be a welcome throwback to the fantastic Justice League animated series, while also functioning well as a standalone blockbuster. The central conflict revolves around the Justice League going up against the crime syndicate from another universe. You guys are in trouble. Take them. The Justice League's alter egos are unapologetically evil, with the nihilistic Owlman being especially entertaining. You're insane. Does it really matter? There are alternate versions of me that you would find quite charming. Its story might not hold many surprises, but Crisis on Two Earths still delivers a grand and timeless adventure. Number 3. Justice League Doom You've all tried and failed to kill members of the League on multiple occasions. Savage has foolproof plans for how we can destroy them. And I will pay you $100 million, plus expenses, for each Justice Leaguer you take off the table. Batman has a contingency plan for every situation, and that includes the Justice League members catching a case of evil. I've carefully studied every Justice Leaguer, past and present, and created contingency plans to neutralize you, should that ever become necessary. When Bruce Wayne's plans for defeating the Justice League fall in the hands of Vandal Savage, however, the heroes soon find themselves suffering near-fatal defeats. Justice League Doom's subject matter demands a darker tone, something the film manages to deliver without too much trouble. Welcome to the Legion of Doom. While the story still boils down to the heroes taking on a group of villains, the Batman angle adds a personal touch that raises the stakes not only in terms of Earth's safety, but also the League's inherent vulnerabilities. None of us would ever do that to you. Then you're damn fools. Number 2. Justice League Dark Apocalypse War After more than a dozen entries, Apocalypse War brought the DC AMU to a close in excellent fashion. Oh, Brits, Aussies, Palms, Convicts, Wankers, do your best, honey! Going full circle, the Justice League sets out to put an end to Darkseid. Unfortunately, the new god sees them coming. Darkseid knew every part of our plan. Packed with death, gore, and fallen heroes, Apocalypse War is as devastating a movie as DC has ever produced. I am still your most competent acolyte, Lord Darkseid. 
Not only does it provide a satisfying, if not necessary, joyous conclusion to this version of the Justice League, but the Suicide Squad, Teen Titans, and John Constantine all get to play key roles in the story. We need to blow up Apocalypse. Oh, is that all? Piece of cake. For any fan tired of predictable animated films, this is the antidote. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Justice League – The Flashpoint Paradox Vic, you look different. Have we met? No, no, he's new. Super speed. Goes by The Flash. An adaptation of the Flashpoint comic, this 2013 movie introduces the Justice League at its best before flipping things around. You called them. You've got your posse, I've got mine. The opening sequence involves some good old-fashioned Justice League teamwork against the rogues. But Barry Allen later finds himself in an alternate reality where certain heroes are at war, some villains are good, and Batman carries guns. I don't hack into government systems, Batman. You do now. If you want me on your little suicide squad. The Flashpoint Paradox moves at a blistering pace but rarely overwhelms, supplementing graphic violence and desperate action with emotional beats that hit hard. Barry! Stop! You'll kill everyone! The 2013 film also paved the way for the DCAMU and a litany of other Justice League movies. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.